Good morning, everybody. We're getting old blue ready for the road. It's time to get to work. It's pretty cold outside, so we're making sure we got everything we need and that we're ready. Off we go. I must be a pretty hot guy because I'm fogging up the windows. The frost is having a hard time keeping up. If you ever have this problem, you know what you could do is just crack your window just a bit, get some of that wet air or moist air from your breathing and your sweating out, replace it with dry winter air, and it usually unfogs pretty quickly. But it is kind of noisy then as well and cold. We're on our way to pick up an empty step deck, 53 foot step tandem. I'm gonna drag that into Winnipeg and drop it at one of our shippers and pick up a preloaded step deck. We're gonna go down to Fargo, North Dakota with that. I'm hoping to be able to get there today to deliver yet, but the way this morning is going so far, <laughs> we'll see what happens. It might be tomorrow morning. This morning, I tell you. Forgot my glasses at home. I went to the shop, got the truck ready to go, started, just about to roll away, and I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> Need my glasses. Scrooge's heart out there, man. Hey. Must mean Christmas is almost here. Okay, so uh, let's go. I don't think I'm gonna get unloaded tonight yet, but here's to hoping. It's supposed to go down to minus 30 tonight in Fargo, where we'll be sleeping. We're going to be doing everything we can to keep warm and keep old blue warm. It's fueled up for 580 liters just now or 553 US gallons. It costed me just under $1,200 Canadian. I'm not sure what that is in USD right now. I didn't do the conversion before I started talking. Is that time of year but when you're watching this there is some good news are you ready for it the days have stopped getting shorter the daylight hours are now going to start getting longer so that's good news right something I mean you got to take what you can get 
means we're on the on the downhill towards summer we climbed the mountain of winter now we're at the icy peak soon we'll be on the other side going right down into the valley of summer summer sunshine and summer Lord Selkirk? How come Lord Weasel doesn't have his own highway? I think we should petition the manager of a government to name the next highway Lord Weasel Highway. Or maybe even rename this one. I don't know who Lord Selkirk was. Though I'm pretty sure he had something to do with the town of Selkirk that's north of Winnipeg. Probably one of the founding fathers of Manitoba. I should probably know him. I probably do. I'm, I'm going to say I know all about him. I have just temporarily forgotten. All right, buds. I'm going to go onto the road with you. Watch out. Don't hit me. Don't get in my way. You be good. You too, Mr. Tanker Yanger. Here we go. Ooh, that's icy at that intersection. Nice and slow. Put my don't hit me hazards on. Throw that down. And as you can see, around us there's not a cloud in the sky. And in wintertime, if you've been watching my videos for long enough, in wintertime, you know that's a bad sign. A clear sky in winter means there's a cold day to follow. All the warm air is just being sucked right up into the atmosphere and brought somewhere else. And all of the heat from the sun is being reflected right off the snow and ice, so it just bounces right back up. on the way. into the US crossing from Emerson Manitoba to Pembina North Dakota again the line is pretty long today sometimes it's busy sometimes it's not today is one of those busy times I was kind of in a rush too I kind of knew I wasn't gonna get unloaded today but uh, I was hoping I don't think it's gonna happen now probably gonna give me about a half hour delay here at the border I had to stop for fuel that took 20 minutes probably going to unload in the morning in Fargo we'll have to wait and see it's a nice day outside like the weather is really nice besides it being like colder than, you know, you know what. The clear days are nice. It's nice to have some sunlight. It's just, it, it brings in the cold weather. I am cleared across though. Our customs broker is on the ball today. I was cleared before I even left. And that's how it usually is. I don't usually have to wait. <coughs> Every now and then, though, you get one of those loads that maybe just falls through the cracks. Something goes wrong, or they lose some paperwork. That's happened before, or the broker loses the paperwork. Whatever happens. 
happens, you know, whatever the excuse is. Every now and then, you're stuck waiting. I mean, physically, you could just drive across the border, right? Legally, you shouldn't do that. Like I said in uh, last couple days ago, if you show up to the border and your paperwork isn't in order, they really don't like that. They really don't like that. They'll turn you back and you get a fine for that as well. Believe it or not. You always want to make sure you are double sure and have confirmation with you that you are cleared to cross. And being cleared to cross the border just means that you're, the customs Customs and Border Protection have accepted your load, your paperwork. They know who you are. They know where you came from, where you're going. They already have your ID on file in most cases. That way when you show up to the window and they scan you in, they're like, oh yes, yes, we were expecting you. They still ask you questions as if they don't know what's on your trailer. It's on their screen right in front of them, what's in your trailer, so don't try and lie to them. <laughs> Grand Forks, North Dakota. Just ran into one of my coworkers, Jake. And uh, his fuel had started to gel up. It's cold out. Luckily he was uh, able to make it here to the truck stop and he can switch out his filters and add some 911 power service that uh, melts all the ice and the gel in there. And he's headed home. I'm headed south. It makes me nervous hearing uh, the guys are gelling up out there. I still need to go hour and a quarter, hour and a half further into Fargo. I'm gonna go for it. I put anti-gel in my tanks just to be sure. Got good filters on there. It's cold out, it's not like that cold, but it, it is really cold. I've got my winter front on, keeping everything warm, hopefully. Uh, it is what it is, right? Let's. Uh, Let's head out there. Keep our fingers and toes crossed and let's keep this truck running. Here we go, into the night. Gotta make it to Fargo. About an hour and 15 minutes ahead.
thermometer here on the truck says minus 18 Celsius, but it's not minus 18. Let's do some uh, Googling here. First of all, what is minus 18 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus 18 degrees Celsius is equal to minus 0 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks, Old Blue. So about zero degrees Fahrenheit, that's what the truck thinks it is right now, but I'm sitting here idling and all the heat from the engine is uh, messing with the thermometer. The temperature is actually, let's ask Old Blue. What is the temperature outside right now? It's minus 28 degrees in Fargo right now. There is currently a wind chill warning in effect. Feels like minus 38 with the wind chill. <laughs> One second here. What is minus 28 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus 28 degrees Celsius is minus 18.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And the wind chill is minus 38, so. What is minus 38 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus 38 degrees Celsius is minus 36.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it, folks. It's cold. So it's a keep old blue running kind of night. Shut the truck off in this weather for just a couple of hours. You might not get it started. Depends on how long, I guess. But uh, for now, we're just trying to stay warm and edit some videos. Clean up the truck a little bit here. I still got my stuff all over the place, as you can see. It's going to be a short week because Christmas starts for us on... the. Uh, the 23rd and we have another one two three gatherings plus Brit and my own Christmas Brit and I we have our own Christmas uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day morning so it's four Christmases yet it's about to, about to go full on Christmas and you always go full out on Christmas always so thanks for joining me today uh, we made it and so far no problems but if we do have problems, we're at the Flying J, 24 hour facility. I can just go inside and keep warm there. Take care everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll get this wood off my trailer, see what they have for us. <laughs>